Sophie. Get a good girl. And you're a good boy, Zeus. She's getting old and kind of grumpy, I guess, going blind. My point was that when if you're going to get a new dog, and, you know, I understand some people like to have more than one. Sometimes it's an accident. But either way, if you're going to get a new dog and you want to introduce it to your other dogs, don't do it in the house. Do it outside. Get your dog, get the new dog, a crate, a fence, a dog run, you know, something. You don't have to spend that much money, but get something so they're contained. Let the dogs, the, the new dog, meet the old dogs outside. The further away from the house, the better. And make sure the new dog is contained so that the old dogs can't get to it. They should meet slowly, gradually. Um, sometimes they can be aggressive through a fence. It's just sometimes a bunch of nonsense. So you gotta be careful how you do it or you're gonna have a fight. And uh, dog fights are never good, especially when they're big, big dogs, because that's a big dog. She's uh, like Pyrenees wolfhound or something, I, I don't know, some kind of mutt but she her personality fits the bill for a good livestock guardian dog and and she was brought up with goats so i don't know why i don't know the backstory behind why they got rid of her but perfect timing because we just lost an expensive goat so when you lose livestock not only is it a, a hit to your wallet and your livelihood it's kind of kind of take it personally you know you, you can't help but get attached to some of these animals and um you know they're just being animals you got you got a ranch you got livestock they're gonna die you're gonna lose them there's no there's no getting around it um unless you're gonna post a watch 24 7 365 they're you're gonna lose some to predation not not to mention disease and you know just stuff happens right yeah so anyways uh yeah do it do it carefully do it through a fence contain the animal on the property for a while because um, they also have a tendency to run off. So make sure that dog is fed in the same spot on the property at the, you know, location so it knows this is home, you know, and then you can start letting them out. Um, if you've got a yard, bonus, definitely bonus feature. I don't have a yard. I got fences. And uh, that's a whole nother story. But anyways, y'all just wanted to talk a little bit more about Sophie. Because she's the newest member of the Salty Crew. And she's a genuine good girl. She's a good girl. Yes, she is. That's a good dog right there. That's a good dog, too. But she's learning bad behavior from Tango. Chasing people and shit. Just had a guy ride by on a bike. I'm like, dude, you're 20 miles off a dirt road. An hour from town on a bike. If you're hauling ass, like, what are you doing? That was sketchy. Never seen that before. Ugh. Kind of felt like interrogating him. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? Trying to get some He didn't look like he was out to get exercise either. He was kind of a transient looking dude with some raggy clothes. What the hell? Anyways, I I'm pretty sure he might go another route next time he comes through here so uh, not a lot of options but hey man not my problem so well not my problem yet so anyways long story short you're getting a new dog you can do it introduce them slowly through a gate through a fence through an enclosure don't free range throw them into the living room during dinner you know, common sense is authorized, y'all, but definitely it's something that a lot of people might not take into consideration. Everybody thinks, oh, my dog is so sweet and smart. It would never hurt, you know, another one of my animal friends. Not true, man. Not true. They've got a natural kind of genetic predisposition to guard their family, and they all, all dogs have the potential to do that. And some of the worst ones are the smallest ones, like this asshole. Yeah, Millie. Notice how corgis are like cats. They're always showing their butt. It's like, com compare the, the pictures and videos that you've seen of corgi faces to corgi butts. And tell me which one you get more of, because it's ridiculous. These great big old booty dogs. 
They're funny, man. Corgis are corgis are a trip. What are you doing? Forging? You forging? <laughs> You, you think they're stupid, and they, they're not. They're just fearless to the point where it's such a lack of self-preservation that you think they're stupid, but they're not. Come here, Zeus. Look at this boy. Look at this pretty face. Oh, look at this pretty face, scar face. What's wrong with your eye, dude? Yep, somebody, somebody bit him in the eye. I wonder who could have done that. Couldn't have been you, huh, Rowan? Yeah, she's like, oh, a little Miss Innocent. I've seen that more, uh, that dog, in the short time that I've known her, has bit more faces than all of my other dogs combined. All of my other dogs, every single one of them combined. That dog has bit more faces she bit me once just kind of tugged at my beard she got all excited and she was all amped up about something and I was under a truck turning wrenches so I couldn't get away and she came out of nowhere and just, ah, just grabbed my beard about about hit her with a wrench but I know she would never intentionally bite me so if we did have an accident it would probably just be a nick probably wouldn't even draw blood but they're just kind of cattle dogs man it's a redneck malinois they just it's like they can't they can't help it but anyways speaking of malinois those other little ones are about to get uh neutered and so they're gonna be able they're gonna be up for adoption soon they're probably already scooped up it seems like it seems like retired military and and law enforcement and active duty and active law enforcement just really really like those dogs so they get exposure to them you know at work and they just they're, they're impressive animals and so it doesn't surprise me you know that professionals pick them up and I'm kind of glad that it works that way because it gives me peace of mind knowing that you know I'm not going to see the dog on the street again next time I go out of state and go to that neighborhood or you know if I'm driving down the road because it happens all the time all the time like start following some of these um Malinois and Shepherd rescues and it's just the most ridiculous stories you know these these people get this dog thinking it's going to be some kind of teddy bear and they are they can be very loving you can have there's there's malinois there's belgian malinois that are actually kind of couch potatoes every single one of them that we just had you know they like to take breaks um they're not genuinely couch potatoes ever i don't think but there's some that are mild-mannered enough to kind of want to kick back and you know enjoy some company and just relax which is not something that they that they do often especially the really high drive ones they just want to go 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 like simba and i think i might have mentioned we'll go, we'll go see him he's down the street but simba was high speed like that he just didn't ever want to calm down and uh it's, that's okay it's the way they are it's funny and it, it really makes for entertaining interactions and uh training it makes it makes it fun you know because it's not it's not as frustrating you can tell the dog's like really trying to figure it out you can just see the wheels turning and it's 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 as scary as it as impressive i i have a lot of respect for that breed just because of the work they do obviously and i've got a lot of respect for all the guardian breeds this one can't really tell we're not gonna do as much obedience training with her it's going to be real basic with her her job is to be with the livestock but she'll still know how to come here and sit stay we'll do the basics but she's not going to learn tracking or um, personal protection or apprehension or anything like that she's they're just not built for it <clears throat> um oh here's a surprise something you may not know i don't know why i never mentioned this but um a dog that they do use for tracking and apprehension and you want to talk about some scary shit i mean a belgian malinois doing 40 miles an hour coming at coming in hot is is plenty scary 
But imagine this, a bull massive canine, police canine. So imagine that sucker coming at you. It's like, if you were gonna sick, if you were threatening sicking that dog on me and I didn't have a mean to protect myself, I would tell you anything you wanted to know. You want me to lay down with my hands behind your back and tell you that I wear pink pantyhose? Roger that, we're, we're good. But, so, yeah. Everybody thinks they're oafy lazy. Um, they're not. Bull Mastiffs, especially when they're young. Now this dog's 10 years old, but I used to take him out and run these hills. We'd run five miles every day, five days a week. Didn't miss a day for months. Yeah, that's way back when. I was thinking about getting back into the Navy and still got to do the, the challenge tests and all that the physical stuff. Had to make sure that we were ready. I ended up enjoying my freedom too much. And don't mind fighting for it, but man, I, I sure do enjoy it here in the good old USA. And I don't care what anybody says, we're still the greatest nation. Got a lot of issues right now in the, in the upper echelon. Powers to be are kind of... Uh, corrupt and <sighs> thank God for our forefathers you know I wish they would have set a tone that lasted a little longer because <sighs> well I'll just leave it at that y'all can fill in the blanks but anyways a lot, lot going on today happy Thursday I'm just I, I ain't doing shit today I gotta fix a tractor and turn wrenches and all that but we'll do that tomorrow because I don't want to but anyways we're gonna go tracking here in a little while and uh, stalking and see if there's anything worth shooting out here maybe get a little hunt in real quick this afternoon what do you think all right well thank you all for tuning in thank you all for listening hope it was informative Sophie thanks you all right, salty crew out. You guys be good, be safe, stay vigilant, stay salty.